wine and craft beer are your thing, there's an event this weekend that may be right up your alley. We're talking about the third annual Kegs and Barrels Craft Beer and Wine Festival. Executive Director of the Salem Roanoke County Chamber of Commerce, Michelle Darby, is here to tell us all about it. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So, if you've never been, I mean, it is only the third annual, it's so many people probably haven't. Yeah. What's it like? So it is a great way to spend your afternoon. It starts at three, so you have time to get all of those chores out of the way so that you can head on down and spend the afternoon with us. We have over 20 craft breweries, wineries, and a distillery this year that will be on site for tastings. And we also have lots of entertainment. We have three bands, our 360 band, the um, Blue Mule and Medicinal Americana are also gonna be playing. So it's a packed day of music and beer, We've got and wine and uh, spirits. We also have food vendors. Um, we have a really interesting one that is uh, pizza in a cone. Never had pizza okay. in a cone. Um, <laughs> also new for this year, we've got our kids area that's going to have bounce houses and face painting. We've also invited Miss Kitty's Society for Wayward Cosmonauts, which are the stilt walkers uh, to come. We've never had them before. So uh, have those on site and also we'll have a variety of vendors, everyone from salsa to nail polish. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was an incredible <laughs> overview. We're going to dissect all of that yes, now in the next couple of minutes. Yeah. But I guess first, where exactly is it? So people are wanting to come. You said it's in the afternoon, yeah. starting Saturday, yeah. tomorrow, or no, we're on Thursday today. I know. So that's, let's see. And in two, in two days I'm from with today. You. Yes, it is. In two, please be in two days. Um, yes. But where exactly is it? So it's at Green Hill Park, which is in Roanoke County with a Salem address. And so if you're unfamiliar with how to get there, you can take Main Street uh, in Salem or you can take uh, River Road in Salem to get there. And it's uh, they have a lot of events there usually. So. And I see that you brought here on the table, you have these cute yeah. little glasses. So these are going to be for sale there. Or are they a part of it? How does it work? Of course. So if you uh, advance ticket sales ended last night at midnight, so tickets are available at the gate for $35. And with the tickets, you do get a glass while supplies last. And this is our tasting glass. And it's a five ounce pour. And uh, I should mention that this year uh, it's unlimited pours. So for one price, you get taste all you want for five hours. So you, you get this glass and you use the same glass mm -hmm. for each one that you taste. Yep. Now, and you did mention, you said just kind of various regional breweries, mm -hmm. local ones, any any that are really sticking out this year or different or um, that people are really excited for? Sure, so we do have um, obviously some local favorites. Big Lick will be there, Parkway, Old Salem Brewing, um, Star Hill, all of those folks that are local to us will be present. But we're gonna have Stone Brewery out of Richmond, which is pretty cool. Um, Twin Creeks from Venton will be there also. Um, we're going to have Trapezium, which is uh, another beer that's not super common to the area. Um, we're also really excited because we're doing a sour hour at 6 o'clock where we will tap some special sour beers like the Gozas and that type of thing. Very refreshing in the summer, so people get a little turned off by the thought of a sour beer, but they tend to be pretty refreshing, sure. so we're excited about that. And, you know, it's, it's a beer and wine event but you did say there are some kid activities. So mm -hmm. it's something, I mean, you shouldn't be afraid to bring your whole family Absolutely. to. It's a park. Like there's wide open spaces for the children to roam and we encourage it. Um, so it can be a family affair. You can bring your chairs, you can bring canopies and set those up on the back part of the field. Um, we're gonna have bounce houses. We'll have face painting with artistic impressions and we're also going to have cornhole. So there's a lot to do besides just sample beer. You can get a glass, go have a seat, listen to some music, let your kids bounce, all, something so for everybody. Hopefully, yeah, and Hopefully it's just a beautiful day yes. and just, you know, a fun time to just be outside, like you said, lots yeah. to do. So we've got the information again up on the screen. Tickets, $35 at the gate, 10 for designated drivers. How yeah. do you prove that? So you, if you don't have a wristband, you don't drink. It's that simple. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay, awesome. Well, uh, more information, we have your website up there. Thank you so much for coming on Thanks today. Thanks for having us.